I'm Tara Monster, and I like to make things. Today, I will be giving you a tour of my upstairs office where I pack and ship orders. Thanks for joining me today in my upstairs office. The reason why I wanted to share my workspace with you is to show how when you work from home with a handmade business, you can really do it anywhere. I do have a workshop downstairs where I do my screen printing in my basement, and I have a video on that that's a tour of that, so uh, click the link below in the description to see that video. It's on my YouTube channel. But today I wanted to show you how I do things upstairs once I've got the shirts and I'm ready to pack and ship them. So I will just start with a quick tour of my space. My office is set up in the corner of my house, so I will just show you how that looks really quick. This is my kitchen. <laughs> so starting there, if we just pan around, you can see my area where I pack and ship orders on this little table. And then panning around, that's my living room there. And I have a, a bunch of storage in all these little containers over here. That is my whole workspace. So um, it is very small, but I've found a way to make it um, very efficient for what I need to do. This is my desk. Um, I have one 2015 MacBook Pro that is just hooked up to an external monitor so that I can have um, two screens for working. I have a printer here that I use to print all my shipping labels. And then um, over here, I have my little table where I put all the orders that are ready to go out. Now that we're over here, I can show you my shipping process. Step one is to take the shirt and put it on the scale. This one weighs four ounces. So I put that in on my computer. And then I print the shipping label. They come out of my printer like this, <laughs> two at a time. I always double check who the order is going to. The next step is to print the packing slips. Once I have the packing slip printed, I make sure that it matches up with the address on the shipping label. And these orders are through Etsy. And one of the cool things they do is if a person orders gift wrap, they give you a nice little sheet here that you can print out and fold up and include with their order in the gift wrap. It's a gift receipt. So this little orange murder paws shirt does not have gift wrap but this green shirt does. So I'm going to pack up the murder paws first. My top drawer has all of my shipping bags um, in various shapes and sizes, uh, depending on what I need for each order. So since this murder paws is a small women's tee, I'm going to pack it in the small women's bag. I'll use this bigger one for the one with the gift wrap. Alva is the person getting the murder paws shirt. I always put the label on the package before packing it. There we go. Here is her packing slip.
Usually on Mondays, I have the most orders to ship, and today is a Monday, so I've got five orders here I'll be shipping. And there we go. This one's ready to go out. Ta-da! <laughs> and now for the fun one, I'm going to do some gift wrap. I keep the gift wrap in the third drawer down. Okay, maybe it's the fourth drawer. <laughs> there we are. Let's do some pretty red. We don't need the scale anymore. That one goes in the bottom drawer. I got this little drawer unit from Ikea and it's the perfect size and shape to house all my materials and a very small footprint. <laughs> This one has a nice little gift message with it as well. So I take the shirt, put it in the middle, put the label on. And since I use a tissue paper, I always use um, two pieces so that it's thick enough that they don't see through it. Grab my scotch tape <laughs> and wrap it up. And you might be hearing a little bit of a low hum right now. My refrigerator has decided to turn on. So that is part of uh, working in the corner of my kitchen slash dining room. But I really like having my office up here because I've got a window right there and I can look out into the backyard and that's pretty much why I have my office up here as opposed to having it down in the basement where I screen print is that it gets pretty cold down there in the winter since it's only partially finished and up here I get to see the sun. <laughs> and what would a little gift wrap be without a ribbon? have ribbon down here too. This one's a sparkly blue one. Also for space and efficiency, I have this little cart back here and I have magnet hooks that I keep all my scissors on so I have easy access to them. I really think that that's one of the keys to having an efficient workspace in a very small space is um, just having little organized bins for everything. So this is a three-tiered cart um, I have all my, my pencils, bone folders, uh, shipping supplies in here in the top, as well as all my micron pens for when I'm drawing illustrations. Everything just fits in this little cart and it is on wheels. So if I need to take it to another area of my workspace, it's really easy. Measure out the ribbon. I always make sure to leave a little bit extra because then I do some curly cues. <laughs> I always like doing those. Ta-da! And then I put it right into the shipping bag. But I always put the label on first. They're gonna be so excited when they open it. And that's it from start to finish. That is my process for packing and shipping orders. I do this process every day. I usually screen print once or twice a week. Um, and normally my assistant helps me with that, but I am doing all the printing and packing and shipping myself now. So I am really glad that I have a very small setup that is efficiently organized for the quick output of orders because sometimes they really can pile up. But with this system, I can easily ship, you know, five to 10 orders in probably 20 minutes or so. Um, so that's not bad. 
Um, thanks for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video on my home office and how I pack and ship my orders, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get a new video every day. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow. I almost forgot to show you the most important part of my office, and that is my cat bed. Oh look, here's my assistant now. Tee-bee-boo. Yes, she helps me with every step of my process.